Hello everyone, welcome back to Abundant Automation. So I did have a quick look at this whole capsule problem again during the break, and I think the way we have it set up now, it's just not possible to do it without a little bit more space. At least not in a way that doesn't make me want to throw up, so yeah, let's let's do it that way. Let's give it three spaces then. We'll have to to see about power here, but all in due time. Now the way I think this will work is we'll first we'll collide these two lines into one, possibly here. And then we'll collide this line with the line that does with the line that carries the thingies, the cogwheels, gear wheels, like so. And that would be this, and then what we can do past that is something like that. And this should work up to that point. Now we can connect these up down here. And they already start to work. Oh, that's nice. Alright, so assuming we can one day supply enough steel again, this will be uh, Defender Capsule's set. It doesn't look particularly pretty, but no, yeah, I've seen, I've seen worse. And now down here again, we need defender capsules and advanced circuits. Now, how do we do that? Well, first of all, let's get rid of all of my excess ammunition. So these, yeah, we need red circuits on the same belt as these. And I think that's not too big of a problem. We'll just do the same thing in reverse, yes. Does this work? So we'll need more space here, too. But how? Mm. Yeah, the problem is we'd need to collapse them before they go onto the onto the other lane. But how do we do that? We can bring them up here and down there. Now let's say we go under like so, and then come in back from above. Well, this should work, and we don't even need to do the the odd little stretch there. Oh, come on, give me the things. Haha, uh -huh. yes, we do need to do it there. <laughs> all right, now all we need to do is this. And that's that done in two spaces. Is there any way to do this less ugly yes we could do that instead makes it a bit more compact all right well but i think this is really all that we'll need to say about that so that will be input like so and output like so 
and that's them already running. And then all we need to do is put those into a chest and we're done. For now. I think distractors will be more than enough to get us through the first couple of couple of offenses. Or <laughs> offensive actions rather. We wouldn't want to offend the neighbors, would we? Alright, so distractors, very nice. Let's also get rid of our circuits for the time being. Oh. There's that. Also some copper to spare. Yeah, so we'll we'll need quite a couple of those actually. So having a production this size really doesn't feel like too much. Question is if in the long run gear wheels will be able to keep up. But I think we'll be fine. I mean those aren't even producing full full time. Oh yes they are. But there's also an iron shortage, so yeah. We'll be fine, I think, is the long and the short of it. Alright. I think there's really nothing more to say about this. For the time being, I don't think that destroyers would really do that much for us. All right, you're right, one more thing. Just a split second uh, after I finished the last recording, the the research finished. So, yeah, we'll do some more of that. All right, let's have a look. So, yeah, well, the whole... The whole end game military thing. I did it, I think, in maybe one or two campaigns, way back in the day, and I haven't done any any end game any end games with biters since. So yeah, should be interesting this one. Relearning and or relearning a couple of things. And I think my my lack of experience with this is quite quite well evidenced by this kind of build. But well, it's improvisation that matters here. All right, so what do we have? We have distractors do three shots a second. We have 90 health, three shots per second, a range of 15. Those have 60 health, range of 15, three shots per second. And these do 14.5. And these do about five. 5.075 shots uh, damage per shot so that's quite a difference so we get almost three times the damage these do actually move I believe as opposed to distractors and you can do some they do have quite a bit of inertia so you can do slingshots and the like Hmm, I think in the end we just want both. Well, but for both we don't really have the capacity now. And then again, these things won't be anything for mass production. But yeah, let's set up. Let's set up some manual control here. I'm still holding back on the full-scale logistics network for now because I feel that would be. Uh, too much on the on the steel on the steel production for now because we we would also need more um, more power which would mean more solar panels which would in turn mean more uh, more steel so yeah we'll we'll do without them for the time being so the very last thing we'll need to do here is what again so if we take them into this i think we can we can work with that so we can smart insert them into a requester chest and wire them up and this requester will want 
say about 50 speed module ones and we'll put ours in there and you will only insert if there is less than something distractor capsules in there let's say less than 50 so then you'll do that Oh, let's call it 100, just for stack size matters. And then we can do you. Like so. You'll take from there and insert into all right damage is being dealt where are you little bugger uh, no you don't yeah this is starting to get annoying i need to figure out i think yeah going out to the northwest and west and figuring out where exactly they come from and just destroying that place would be the first thing here yes but i think that's let's go up to 500 actually here now for now we're also not caching caching piercing rounds i think that's all right for the time being right and now you will do destroyers and that should be that now with yeah, we're good for 150 destroyer capsules now with the speed modules I've put into there. And I'll also take a stack of these for myself. So these will be distractors. Then I want destroyers in my bar as well. All right, and one more thing will be energy shields of some description. So that's just circuits and steel. Just steel, he says. So let's hover all of the steel we can find here. There's some too. All right, and then blue and red circuits. That's one, two, three, and four. Let's do one more. And I'm not rhyming intentionally. I swear all right this is just pathetic amounts of steel here but we do have what we want will take us quite a while granted but yeah it'll it'll get done over time now we don't have a second power armor as of yet and we most likely won't have a second power armor before we do this because we'd need Alien goo, and we don't have that much of it. Right, let me just, for the time being, trash anything I don't immediately need in here. Want to keep some of those. Right, I think that's that's enough space for the time being. There you go. Alright, now most of this is laying bare. Alright, 17 destroyers. Don't even know what our maximum is right now. But I suppose I'll find out pretty soon. Alright, but I think that's pretty much all that we need. Oh yes, ammunition. So I'll mainly do shotgunning. Yeah, I think yeah, my strategy will be something like putting down one or two distractors and then having a couple of destroyers active, slingshotting them in and then come rushing in guns blazing and just destroying all of the things. I think that's pretty much the extent of my my strategy. My 
combat tactics rather. Right, why did I grab just crap tons of coal? I only need, well, let's do one stack in a bit. And then we'll place our trusty little car and get going. So, on to the second great anti-biter offensive. The Western Front will be where it is at, and we'll we'll see how all of this... <laughs> no, can't catch me. Oh, yes, you can. Right, but I still feel a little, a little naked here without... without any energy shields. So let's get at least one. And let's have a look. Now those will be beelining. So I want to have a look. How do these actually get through and destroy my thingies? My boilers. Oh. Uh, no, I suspect that none of these will actually go through. Because all of them are ranged. Maybe it was because it was a, sp uh, a biter and not a spitter. Because there is a, a market absence of... of um, what are they called? Biter corpses there. Only spitters. So maybe maybe it's that. Oh, we'll have to see. All right, let's just move up here and bring ourselves into a position to attack. So a quick scouting glance. We did get another energy shield on the go here. Right. Now I hope this will be enough. Let's... Oh, uh, oh no, these are... Ah, yes, they are. Well, since when do you... Hmm. Did I just spawn multiples of them? Very interesting. So that's distractors. They'll just be there and tank some fire whilst I can rush in here and do my thing. Well, let's maybe try to only use only use these for a while because they are less expensive after all. You can use them to tank the shots and dish out the damage ourselves. Seems good enough for me. Any stragglers will be dealt with with a good old shotgun, uh, the good old submachine gun. And then we'll just walk around, walk around a little up here and find out who's been ruining our party. Yep, so there we go. One more energy shield finished. So we have a pathetic follower robot count. And if I, if I recall correctly, the sound these things make when they actually do expire is loud as hell. So have fun with that. <laughs> right, plant down a couple of these. Actually switch to the shotgun. Hello. Uh, there we go. That looks a bit better. Hmm. Well, I do have a feeling that these won't be doing me much much of a service when it comes to behemoth biters. Well, we'll see about that. We'll all be revealed in due time. I do have to... S yeah. Now, these do spawn multiples. I seem to recall that they only spawned one, but well, 
No one complain. But for small nests like this, without any any defensive structures, we can just go in and kill everything that moves. Now this is what I meant. These things do have some inertia. And if you stop, if you time it just correct, you can slingshot them into an enemy base. Right, let's give those guys up there something to do. Right, and that's them. And let's also take up the take up the base up there. No defenses here, so really a quick kill. Just go in, kill everything. And there you go. Now we reached the edge of a pollution, but we'll I think I'll still want to scout a little bit more. We don't want to explore oh, crap. <laughs> so yeah, let's let's move down there. Really quickly. No real need to bring out the car for such a short distance. We'd be running into trees anyway. So they are tearing up my furnace line there. So yeah, this whole thing really does seem like a bit of an overextension. And for once, these turrets actually did something. Now, this doesn't. This uh, this whole situation definitely wouldn't have developed this far if I had actually taken the time to be a bit more proactive about my military matters. One guy. <laughs> oh well, it's always just one guy, isn't it? Right then, let's fix this real quick. No, oh, well, we'll do it in the next episode because we are already a bit over time. But that's not really a problem. Yes, so we will continue the offensive and we will wipe out every last biter that threatens to do, well, this to our base because we don't want that. Alright, but until then, and as always, thanks a lot for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I've been Descriant, and I shall see you soon.